Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to Quintus Jungle Gym. Uh, so I started Quintus Jungle Gym years ago, and now I'm ready finally to bring it back. So this is going to be my first video, my welcome video, and I just wanted to start by, you know, saying a little bit about me. Um, so I'm Quinta, a phonema, Quinta Adam Mekong. You can call me Q. And how I started um, up in this whole fitness thing uh, probably dates back to high school track. I used to be a sprinter. I threw discus. I was like a track star. You know, if coach would have put me in, we would have went to state. Like, I am the classic Uncle Rico, always talking about high school track. Um, so after high school track, though, I did not continue my track career, and I ended up going to Notre Dame, Denamira University, where they did not have a track team, and I had an academic scholarship. So, you know, I didn't have a coach, didn't have someone to tell me what to do and when to do it and how to exercise, and there was food, and I had a meal plan. That should be enough. <laughs> Um, so I put on a lot of weight my first year of college and, you know, kind of just kept it on. Uh, the heaviest I got was up to 230 pounds and, you know, just wanted to drop that weight like every year. Like, you know, let's go work out guys. Yeah. You know, just stopping and starting, stopping and starting. And that's just kind of how it went up until January, 2014, uh, January 1st. So yes, I was a new year, new me. Uh, so that's why I don't knock the New Year people because, you know, sometimes you need a date to start. So I chose January 1st, 2014, and I just went with it. I said that 2014 was going to be my year. I was going to graduate college. I was going to walk away with my bachelor's degree, and I was going to leave Notre Dame better than when I came in there. So from January to March 2014, I dropped between 25 to 30 pounds. I just really wanted to leave the 200s behind me. So I went from 230 to 199. And then um, I was happy. It was my birthday. And then I was like, okay, let's tighten it up. And then I graduated in May 2014 with my bachelor's degree in sociology. And you know, I just kept working out and I felt truly happy because I did it but I can't stop there. So I was like, let me just find more goals and keep going. Oh, I forgot to mention that um, during my last semester of college, I had to take 25 units. It was about nine classes, got all A's in them, and I dropped the weight. So a little tidbits of information. Um, yeah, landed my first big girl job, salary and benefits as the office manager at a charter school in San Carlos. So that's what I currently do. And that's what I was doing until my soon-to-be future fitness manager, Kenny, found me working out, just jump roping super hard at the San Mateo 24. And he's like, Q, what's up? Hi. And I hadn't seen Kenny since I was, like, heavier back in, like, 2011. And I was trying to lose the weight, still at that 230. And he sees me now, and he's like, um, I'm getting ready to grind open a gym. Are you trying to be a personal trainer? I'm like... Uh, I've thought about it. I work at a school right now. Isn't personal training expensive getting your cert? He's like, do you want it? I'm like, yeah. Okay. And so I just <laughs> found a class. I'm a weekend class. Um, studied. Went to the class 10 hours um, each day on a weekend. Studied my butt off. Passed the CPT exam with an 80% pass rate. Uh, Nesta. And then I was certified. And then I was working as a 24-hour personal trainer. Um, so yeah, 24 has been amazing. I've met some amazing people, my coworkers, people in the gym, clients. I had this one client that was given to me in November. We wanted to do a Spartan race. Excuse me. She wanted to do a Spartan race. So we trained for it. And then by our second session, I had signed up for the Spartan race and it was the Spartan race super in Sacramento. It was like nine miles. I was a sprinter. My coach, if he knew I was running anything more than a 400, he would just laugh. So the fact that I was going to do a course that was nine miles long, we trained for it. We did it. I had to get over a lot of fears. I had to get over my fear of height and I have this weird fear of like water, not like bathing, but like swimming. That's another story. 
But yeah, I did it. And I had to be strong for my client because she was looking to me for me to be like the bigger person. So I was like, okay, let's go. Even though I was freaking out, but it's something I can talk about because I already did it. It's not something that I let my fears get in the way. So I went and did that then. And I just wanted to find more things that scare me and do it. So I watched my first show, uh, the San Francisco Championships in October. And I like took myself out on a date. I was sitting in the auditorium like, oh my gosh, look at them flexing. Like, Ooh, look at those guys. Oh my gosh, man, I think I can do this. I think I can do this. So then I um, started researching. And then I found a coach, found two coaches, joined Team Cyber Body Shop. And I began prepping for my first show. November 30th, 2015 was week one, day one. And it was 17 weeks of prep getting to Gov Cup, March 26th, which I then eventually came in first in the novice and fifth in the open. So that's a little bit about me. And just wanted to say, hey, Quinta Jungle Gym is back. Quinta Jungle Gym is back. Okay, just small interlude. You know, we're, we're not high tech yet. This is just video number one. So, you know, there's no flashes just yet. But um, yeah, uh, Quinta's Jungle Gym. I started it up because I believe that the world is your playground and you don't have to get it in only in the gym. Like there's so many places to really just take yourself there. So Quinta's Jungle Gym, let's play and have a good time as we're doing it. So here on this channel, you're going to see workouts. You're going to see some meal prep. You'll get some um, motivation. And yeah, some goofiness, some silliness. Um, since I have you here and you guys are seeing my hair all bouncy, something that I did in my last prep near the end that I really liked, I'm going to do it again for this one. So I'm 12 weeks away from doing my next competition. And I have here a string of beads that I have on my hair. And so there's 12 beads, 12 beads. And every week at the end of the week, I'm going to take one bead off. And then we're going to keep going. My hairstyles might change during, um, you know, prep, but the beads will remain the same. So, yeah, here we go. 12 weeks out. Next show. Boom. Bam.